Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 6th of June 2022, DAC has a coded acceptance of necessity for the capital acquisition proposals of the armed forces amounting to Rs 76,390 crore. For Indian Navy, the DAC accorded AON for the procurement of next generation corvettes or Project 28A corvettes at an estimated cost of Rs 36,000 crore. The next generation corvettes will have total life of 20 to 25 years. These corvettes are going to be the most advanced and powerful corvettes ever built in India with anti-ship capability and land attack capabilities. These NGCs will be versatile platform for variety of role, for example surveillance mission, escort operations, deterrence, surface action group operations, search and attack and coastal defense. These NGCs would be constructed based on new in-house design of Indian Navy using latest technology of shipbuilding. The NGC will have much higher firepower and longer range than Pakistan Navy's Bauer class corvette or PLA Navy's Type 056 corvettes. The expected time of building these corvettes is going to be 5 to 7 years. While the detailed information about the NGC is yet not available, it is most likely to be based on the RFI which was released way back in 2016 for the first time. We can expect some changes going further, but overall the requirement is going to be same. The NGC will have a range of not less than 4000 nautical miles at sustained economic speed. It will be capable of sailing at top speed of 27 knots and maximum sustained speed will be more than 25 knots. The NGC will be 120 meters long single hull corvette having low radar, acoustic, magnetic, visual and infrared signatures. The crew of the new ship will consist of 21 officers and 137 sailors. The ship will carry minimum of 8 surface-to-surface -surface missiles in VLS or tubes for surface attack. These missiles could be either Nirbhay, LSEM or Brahmos or combination of both. Nirbhay can strike target for more than 1200 km with impressive loitering capability. It also flies at low level and reduced RCS which makes it further lethal. Brahmos missile needs no introduction with its speed near Mach 3 and range between 400 to 500 km and having warhead of 300 kg which is capable of sinking the big warships with ease. The main gun of NGC is expected to be 76mm naval gun with at least two guns for CIWS. The NGC will have surface to air missile that will be able to engage sea skimming missiles flying 3 to 5 meters above the sea level up to a maximum speed of Mach 3. At present it is not clear which SAM is going to be used, which is it going to be Barak 1 or VLSR SAM or Barak 8. It will also feature towed array sonar and two light weight torpedo launcher and each launcher having three tubes. It will also incorporate torpedo decoys, torpedoes for helo and Hamsa NG hull mounted sonar. The Indian Navy has specified that NGC will have one multi-function surveillance and threat alert radar in the warship for early warning and target identification. It is expected to feature a combat management system compatible with network centric warfare and fire control radar. The NGCs will be capable of deploying an ALH or NUH helicopters in addition to the unmanned rotor crafts. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.